wrap up, I want to get to the larger tax question because you had an interesting argument about that as well, which I'd like people to hear. But do you find it kind of, I mean, the fact that Democratic strategists are still doing the default have no position, win by attrition with an absolutely just yeah. you know horrific, I mean, at what point do we start to, I mean, cause, cause one part of this problem obviously is that part of the reason there isn't a real progressive agenda is obviously because, you know, corporate money and interests, you know, have a chokehold on all too much of the process. And I think people kind of generally understand that. And that's just kind of a, you know, something that needs to be dealt with and overcome electorally and so on. And then part of it is, it's weird because it doesn't even seem ideological. I mean, ideological is somebody like, you know, the, the famous Tony Blair line where he was talking about all the kind of right-leaning policies he was pushing to the Labor Party. And it was like, you know, it's even worse. Like, I actually believe this stuff. And I think that there are some people in the Democratic Party who really are still, you know, unreconstructed, neoliberal, right-wing Democrats. But it seems like there's this other line of people that, I don't even know if it's money or ideology. It just seems to be the same deer in the headlights. <laughs> you know, if we just sort of duck down, there'll be such a disaster. And it would seem like if if anything the Clinton campaign could have taught everybody in 2016 was that that just is not going. I mean, if ever there was a time it would work, that would be it. And if it, right. you know, I, I don't know. It's just kind of striking just even on that one very specific area. Yeah, it is. And it's so clear that it's, you have to start wondering what else is going on. And, yeah. and I think one of the things going on is the, the strange incentives that line up. You know, if you come out as a party operative, um, you know, who's part of the kind of beast here in town, and you say, I think, you know, single payer is the way to, is the way that we're going to win elections. And then if you, implement that and you lose the election uh you take the blame this was your idea uh you executed it uh it failed you're done mm -hmm. like you're you know you're not somebody that is is going to advance in the party or get good good consulting contracts if you say this is what has worked for in the past and this is what the best practices are and here is what the poll tested language is uh, the Republican plan will throw 24 million people off health care. Republicans want to uh, privatize your Social Security. Republicans this, Republicans that. And everybody else has been doing that for years, too. And you do it and you lose. Well, you're fine. You know, you all you right. did was what everybody else has been doing is best practices. And un unfortunately, the, the political climate was such that Democrats lost. And, the, you know, you can't can't do anything about the weather. Right. So that allows you to then, you know, you may have lost that race, but you didn't lose it, you know. So you fought, you go on and get your next job, um, and you, you move up from there, and you've built good relationships with the people who are now, you know, sending out the contracts. So there, there is certainly an incentive issue which only changes um, if the people running uh, – the the old strategy start losing in big ways to people running a new strategy, um, which which we might start seeing happen uh, soon. In other words, um, if if you have some of these um, you know proxy Bernie versus Clinton primaries go to the Bernie side, um, and then those people start um, creating lucrative consulting shops, then you have people say, oh, well, maybe, maybe that is a career path for me. Maybe, it, maybe I should start doing it a different way. And then you also have people that have done it a different way and succeeded. And so you can just, if it doesn't work for you, you can blame somebody else. Well, the people that suck start advocating the good policies, then we know we've right. won. Right. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah.